So our staycation has ended, but for Buddy and me, the adventure continues because Justin is dropping us off for a day of diving with friends. I love you so much. Have fun. Okay, see you soon. You going fishing? <laughs> this is the Cavello Ohana and they are our tribe. I'm especially grateful for Captain Kapua because she takes extra good care of Buddy so that I can get back in the water and dive. We have a couple of different missions today and the first one is to get some kala. And we aren't just giving them to our friends to eat, but we're giving them to make some Hawaiian drums out of the skin. So the catch is, when you're shooting kala that's going to be made into drums, you have to shoot them in the head. Because if you shoot them in the body and your shaft goes through the skin, it's not going to make a good drum. So I'm down here and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting to take the shot because I know I have to shoot it in the face and their faces are so small. But finally, I see an opportunity, I brace myself and I take the shot and unfortunately, my shaft went through part of the body. However, it came out right through the face, which means one half of the kala is going to make a perfectly good drum. We get a few more kala and then we're on to the next mission. Our next goal, Joby wants some smoked meat, so he goes down and checks this cave known for holding ulua. As soon as he shoots, he swims back up, signaling to me that he needs a backup shot. So I dive down to see if I can secure this fish. When I get down there, the challenge is trying to see. Not just because it's dark in this cave, but because this fish is stirring up so much sand and silt that it makes it almost impossible to see. So I'm waiting, I'm trying not to spook it too much, I'm trying my best to see this fish, and I know that I need this shot to count. Once again, I need to shoot this fish in the head. I need to stone it so it will die immediately. I take my shot, and though it's hard to see, I know that it's a good one. We call this a stone shot when the shaft goes through the brain. And though the fish is dead, Joby's gear is stuck to the bottom, so I have to abort and go breathe and let him know that the fish is secure, but we still need to untangle this mess together. Ulua are such strong fish that it's so important to have a partner ready for a backup shot. And it's so important to try our hardest to get that stone shot for an instant kill. And this fish will make a lot of great smoked meat to share. And so we're gonna call this dive done. Flying. Flying, 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 flying. But buddy, look at this fish. This is called an ulua. It's also known as a giant trevally. You know why they call it giant trevally? Because they're pretty big. See this one? It's bigger than you. This is a very medium-sized fish. They get, they get up to like 150 pounds, 200 even. This one is, I don't know, 35 maybe? And this is a fish that my friend Joby loves to hunt. He loves them about this size because he has a big, beautiful Hawaiian family that he likes to share smoked fish with. So I'm going to smoke them some fish today. So I'm not going to scale the whole thing. I'm just scaling all along the edges. This is where my knife's going to enter. And I'm not going to bother gutting this fish. Let's get filleting. The sun is going down as it waits for no one. It's such a satisfying feeling when you have like a really big, good filet knife on a big fish and you're just, you know, cutting it like butter. Yeah, babe. Here is one quarter. It's a lot of meat. Somebody. Feeling a little delirious, buddy. Somebody need a nap. He's just stepping on the rocks that he put on the ground. You put traps for yourself, buddy. 
that is a beautiful fillet of fish right there. Just gonna move these nice fillets for a moment, rinse down the table, get everything nice and clean. It's a lot of meat. <laughs> Am I getting you wet? I sprayed body. No. <laughs> All we're gonna do now is we're gonna skin these nice fillets. I think Buddy has a molar coming in. So he's been extra clingy lately. It's been really challenging, especially trying to do these cooking bits with knives and a baby in her hand. Yeah. You wanna give knuckles? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just put you right here on this wet table, okay? It's okay. <laughs> yeah. And so now what we're gonna do, buddy, is we're gonna we're gonna cut this into strips. Chunky strips. We're gonna let this smoke all day while daddy and I go diving. <laughs> with other fish I go smaller, but I don't know. Ulua's like a big hearty fish, and so I cut it into these big hearty chunks. Bigger is better if you go too small, then it j dries it out too much, you know? Justin always makes a really awesome marinade. You kind of go teriyaki style, yeah, honey? Yeah, brown sugar, ginger. Okay, so I was thinking, just for the sake of experimenting, because we don't have brown sugar, but also we have this beautiful honey from our friends at Ho'ola honey, and this is the Olena one. This is turmeric infused honey. Muddy's talking to himself in the yeah. corner. You tell those plants what to do. You flying away? Buddy, you flying? Okay, buddy, come here. You wanna come up here? Okay, you're gonna come up here with mama, yeah? So this is what you do, okay? You put um, the garlic and stuff in here, babe, and you just smash it. Okay, and I know how much you love smashing things, but I just thought that this might cheer you up a little bit. You got it? Okay, good. I'm gonna add stuff to that, buddy. Okay, can you smash that, please? Good job, buddy boy. You really wanna smash it good. So we just want the juices, people. We're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for a happy baby and some release of those flavors and I'm stoked. I've got some chili peppers. Why not add that in when your baby's helping? Maybe I'll cut them on the side here. Okay, so we're just gonna add some chilies. We're gonna add Buddy's hard work to this bowl. That's great. Buddy, do you wanna continue, continue smashing things down here? Cause look, I can bring this to you. Look, look, here. There you go. So we just added some green onions, and now we're gonna add a bunch of this delicious olena, that means turmeric in Hawaiian. <laughs> this is just gonna be one sticky mess, but that's okay. That's how we roll. Now we're gonna add a bunch of soy sauce. As long as we have enough to coat all this meat, I think we're good. And we're gonna, <laughs> he's just dripping honey all over me. You can put, a rice cracker in there. You do whatever you want. It's amazing. It's a good buddy. We're gonna add our huge chunks of fresh ulua meat. And I'm really just gonna get my hands in there. Toss and press. And look at that, that's like the perfect amount of marinade. And look at this, this is a sticky, sweet, salty, garlicky, gingery, turmericy, beautiful marinade. And we're gonna let this go overnight so that these huge chunks of fish can really absorb all those different flavors. And then we're gonna smoke it on the Traeger all day tomorrow. You guys, we survived a day. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you in the morning. Please pray for us that Buddy just sleeps. Good morning. Good morning, honey. Good morning. So it is six in the morning. Our wonderful child is still sleeping. He slept through the whole night. And we're gonna, we're up early, just trying to do what we can before he wakes up and just totally sabotages our day. So let's go smoke some fish.
I'm just going to turn it to smoke. So it's going to be at a very low temperature, 165. And once it gets really nice and smoky, then we're going to load it up with all that marinated ulua. I'm going to hope I did a great job. Justin always kills it at smoked fish. Hopefully I will too. And we're going to let it go all day. Our grill is smoking. Our fish looks nice and marinated. Not our dog. Apparently spent the night last night. Tazzy, don't you think your family misses you? These Traeger grills, by the way, I think, um, I've been reading the comments and I just realized people might not understand that these are wood burning grills. The compartment over here we feed wood pellets to. It is electric, but also there's an auger and it's constantly burning this wood. I'm using maple wood right now. And so that's why we get that really nice smoky flavor. It looks good, huh? It looks really good. Wow. It smells good too. It does. That is a beautiful treasure chest of gems. And we'll see them soon. Okay. So we let this fish smoke for a really long time. I think it was six o'clock when I put it on, Buddy was still sleeping. It is now past three o'clock. Buddy went to daycare all day. I went diving. It was amazing. And so this fish might have gotten quite smoked. Let's check it out. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Looks great. This is an eight hour smog. That's a long time for, for fish. That's more than what I was planning on. Buddy, let's sample this together. Oh my gosh. Um, that's a big bite. Here it is. Look at that glistening piece of beauty. I'm just gonna take a bite. Mmm, it is delicious. It is moist, it is wonderful. It's still so succulent and moist inside. I was afraid that I was gonna dry it out. You could put it on crackers, you could put it on bagels, you could make it into like a tuna sandwich, but like smoked ulua sandwich. Buddy, you want some more? Wow, that's a big bite. Oh, are you gonna share? That's so sweet. Hey, you go, not our dog. Hey, hey, who said you could have that piece? Hey, how'd you get there? How'd you get there? Oh, oh. Hey, I take it easy. Can I have a bite? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's just so good. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Smoky. <laughs> mm. uh, did you just give Tazzy a bite and then give me a bite? I have to now package up this fish because I'm going to share it with Joby who was the one that shot this fish to begin with. He's going to share it with so many other people and everyone's going to be happy. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick and easy recipe. Please do subscribe and I'll see you back next week. I got to go get my baby. It is a very rainy day today, but we are doing a special delivery of a whole bunch of smoked meat. Somebody snuck in the truck. Somebody else snuck in the truck. Just joking. Along with bringing a smoked ulua, I'm also returning all of these egg cartons because they always give us beautiful eggs from their chickens.